In this video, I'm going to show you how you can carve your opponent up in the underneath passing of Madden 22. One of the most underrated aspects of any offense is their ability to threaten the defense underneath. And so today I wanted to give you uh, one of my favorite kind of underneath passing concepts. I'm talking like this is a concept that you can go to really in any situation and you're pretty much going to guarantee that you're going to get about 10 to 15 yards. So it's still a really good passing concept regardless uh, of the situation. And again, it's something that you can, re it's a real safe concept that you can call against any defense and have a significant amount of success. It's actually something new that I just started doing and have really been liking it a lot because um, it's all about high lowing the defense. Madden is all about high lows, right? And so what we want to do whenever we're building an offense is we want to have our offense that is really devoted to high lows. Now this concept can be done out of any formation in this game. I'm gonna show it to you today out of trips tied in, but I'm also gonna, if we have time, I'm also gonna show it to you out of the gun bunch because you can again, create this basic principle out of anything in this game, okay? Very effective concept. Now, if you're watching this video, if you have not, already joined my patreon i would ask you to consider doing that that's where we it's our it's our uh, monthly membership and it gets you access to all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks i'm getting ready to do a massive overhaul to a bunch of our guides um, in their trips tied in bunch i'm probably going to do an update on U trips. definitely going to be doing an update on spread so there's a lot of really good stuff coming um, both on offense and on defense i've been doing a ton of updates to our defenses over the last couple of weeks and so now i'm kind of looking at some more offensive based things so if you want to get the membership it'd be a great month to get it it's only ten dollars and again it gets you access to all of our ebooks including my full trips tied in ebook, which I'm really, uh, I'm, I feel like this year I've really um, kind of finally broken through with this offense a little bit more and just have a really good understanding of how the offense works. So that being said, let's talk about the concept again. This is, you can do it out of any play from any formation in this game. We're just going to do it out of trips tied in because I love the blocking and obviously it's my favorite formation in the game. Now, um, when running this, what I, it doesn't matter what hash mark you're on, so we're just going to start on the wide side. Um, I mean, the spacing is fine either way and because it is such a simple concept. And you don't need Hot Route Master, even though I do have Hot Route Master. Um, you don't need Hot Route Master. Now, uh, what I first want to show is that this is a really good concept for uh, just, you know, in general, kind of some of the basic coverages. So what we're going to do is we're going to flat our outside slot we're going to slant our outside receiver and that's a key key route on this we'll talk about it in a minute and then we're going to drag our inside slot and we're going to uh, put our tight end on a smart routed in route if you have tight end apprentice you can put this guy on a post but i'm going to explain in just a second why you might not want to do that and really what we have if you look at this play closely is a high low on the right and a high low on the left both of which get open at different zone drop depths and we have a man beater on the right and we have a man beater on the left so there's really not any defense that should be able to stop this i mean they really have to adjust perfectly to be able to bag this concept and so our first read is our drag if they're not playing hard flats on the right we are going to throw that every single time that drag is also something that is going to have some success against uh, man to man and, and and all that so that's our first read now our second read and this is a cover three concept that we've talked about here on the channel before is our flat to the left so we're looking flat to the right and then we're looking flat to the left well we looked flat to the right okay no we look back left we see the the curl flat glitch that uh happens out of this now i will say i think this concept is probably honestly best if your trips is to the short side of the field the main reason is just because that flat route is better to the short side than it is to the wide side just because he takes a while to turn around but you'll see here like once he turns around i can throw that and it's open okay um if you're on the wide side you could you could just put him on a zig um you know if you wanted to do that's fine too you can either zig him or flat him with the zig what you're going to notice is now you see that if it's a purple he's gonna the purples get sucked in regardless it doesn't matter if he's a flat or a zig 
The Zig just gives you a window that you can throw him open against um, against man in zone. Now, another thing that I want to quickly point out about the cover four defense is the quarter flat zone. You'll see if it's a Zig, it gets sucked in, um, and and you see that that is obviously you know a really good route for that. So what this again forces is it forces our opponent to have to hard flat. So now they're going to hard flat on both sides of the field and try to take away your flats. Well, what you see now is your slant on the left becomes wide open quick. So you're looking right, no, looking left, no, and then looking to the digs or to the to the slant, I'm sorry. So out of cover four, I'm going to hard flat. And what you're going to see here, I'm going to look right. Okay, not open, look back left. Okay, I can throw it. Now, if you can't throw that immediately against that coverage, that's fine. You don't have to throw that. There's um, because again, the, the route combo will continue. Okay, and so what you want to do after you look at your slant is you want to look at your tight end. So if you miss the read on your slant, don't panic. You got your tight end coming running behind it. So right, no, left. Oh, I'm a little late. But now look where that is coming right in behind the defense. And this is what makes this concept so powerful. Is in this year's game, you can't user everything by any means. And so now they have to have a, a hard flat for the flat. They have to have a purple for the tight end route, okay? And then they also, now on this other side, they have a hard flat and they have, you know, maybe something like this, okay, for example. So what we'll see is, you know, again, run through the concept. And now you're going to see what's really cool about this play. So now they have that hard flat over there but if you watch this that slant is going to go about 20 to 25 yards down the field so even in a situation where they zone or not zone drop but they call the perfect defense and really the best defense in my opinion for this would be some type of cover two but they would definitely have to double flat on the right so you see it kind of looks like this and then they're going to have to be ready for any post if you watch this play all the way through, though, you're going to notice that this this um, drag to Godwin is going to clear out the zone on the right. And you'll see that they suck down really bad. And you see that that slant is, again, running at about a 20-yard depth. So even if, if they're setting zone drops, that's also not going to be something that's going to be you know very effective at guarding it. Now, what about a situation where they're going to play some man? Okay, so let's say they go man. And let's just say, you know, they got a purple on both sides, okay? Um, this is going to do really well against that. Why? Because, again, your drag right off rip is a decent man beater. But your in route to your tight end is going to get open right in there. And, again, the flat is pulling the zone out of the middle of the field and making it much, much, much harder um, for the defense to be able to, to do that. Now, let's say that the user um, kind of latches onto this and he goes – to cover the tight end well now you got your slant coming over that purple as you can see right there and again it's going about a 20 to 25 yard depth so the purple can't cover it and really there's no zone i mean there's a there's very few zones in this game that will cover the slant from the outside receiver most people don't know that um when it comes all the way across which is one of the main reasons why um, i found this concept or started using using this so again boom no, no, okay, I got my tight end. So that, that's how simple the play is. And I wanted to show um, how you can do this out of any formation in the game. So we're gonna go over a bunch real quick. Again, if you wanted to, um, if you wanna get my membership, I've got both the bunch and the trips in there and it's completely broken down. So if you wanna check that out, again, there's a link to sign up for that in the description if you wanna sign up. Okay, so how would you do the same basic thing um, the same basic thing from a concept like this. Well, what I would want to do is have a smart routed in route to uh, Mike Evans. Why would I want to do that? Because he's going to be the best man beating route on the field. Um, you could justify putting the tight end on a route. There's several ways you could do this and, and accomplish this. But what I like to do in this scenario is, especially from bunch, is I'm going to block my tight end. I'm going to out route my running back slant um johnson and then i'm going to flat uh godwin so you see it's a little different but still basically the same we have the high low here on the left as you can see and then um we're we're gonna have the high low on the right so 
this this dig um, it should come all the way across so if it doesn't um, it's still basically there and I'll show you that in just a second we see the flat pulls his own dig runs all the way across and as you can see it goes to about that 20 yard depth now if you want to use the slant concept that we were talking about from trips you can do that and I'll show that real quick so what we can do is we can slant the solo receiver okay now we know from this formation in general um, that you know again I like to block the tight end with this but you don't have to um, what you can do is just flat the tight end you can then um, take the R1 receiver and put him on a drag um, and then put Chris Goblin on a dig. You could do something as simple as this right here, still keep play action blocking and notice that the slant is going to get really good separation and again, runs at about that 20 yard depth. You could also, last little piece of this, is you could do the same thing working backside. So you have a flat to your tight end, a drag to Johnson and a slant to Godwin and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna motion the slant outside. This is just how you can keep the play action on. And you see right here, you know, just how good of a concept it is. Very simple. But this is a way that you can, again, stretching the defense horizontally allows you to stretch the defense vertically. It opens up things like your deep bombs or your deep corners. So you want to have plays like this, regardless of what formation you're running, that is going to force the defense to have to respect the underneath elements of your passing attack. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about my trips tight end offense, or if you want to learn more just about Madden in general, be sure to join our Patreon. You get all of our eBooks. You get weekly updates with new tips and tricks that we don't share publicly on YouTube. And you get a ton of other material as well. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. And it's only 10 bucks a month to get it. We already have over 20 eBooks in there with a lot more on the way. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up, link is in the description.